What's up, everybody? Welcome back. Today we are going to go through one of my favorite shoulder warm-ups. This is really going to make sure that we hit all of those points, rolling out the muscles, really trying to prime them to work. Then we're gonna go through a little bit of mobility to make sure that we maximize that range of motion. Then we're gonna follow it up with a couple of simple, easy exercises to maximize those gains that we made with priming the muscles and getting that overhead motion going. We're gonna start off with a lacrosse ball. This is gonna go into some of those little rotator cuff muscles that are in the back of the shoulder. So you're really trying to hit anywhere in that back triangle of the shoulder blade. You can go on the ground for this. I prefer going to the wall. I find that it's a little bit easier to manage how much pressure you got going through those little muscles. So I'm gonna take this guy. We're just gonna go right into the back and nice and easy, just kind of rolling around. You can play around with arm movements. You can come across the body. You can go up and down through those different rotations. But you're gonna sit in that area for a couple minutes one to two somewhere in there till everything's nice loosened up really have all of those muscles primed and ready to go next one that we're going to go through is going to involve the band we're going to do a little bit of banded overhead mobility so what's going to happen with this guy is we are going to go step on the band band is then going to come up i want it right around that t-shirt line if you need another reference, there's a little bump on the top of the shoulder. I want about one to two fingers off of that little bump. That's our chromium process right there on the top. From here, we're just gonna do a little hip hinge, kicking them back, and then getting that little bit of extra pressure through pulling on the band. You can play with those different motions. If you wanna go out, out to the side, inside, just trying to find any of those points that are a little bit sticky and just kind of feel like they're not quite white as loose as they should be so you're really trying to get that nice shoulder overhead position improved with that that's going to help with any of those rotations as well you can't get a little bit more specific with some of the other bands but i like that one as a really good quick and easy general exercise to keep you moving last couple that we're going to go through is following that up with a couple exercises now that we've got those muscles primed a little bit went through a little bit of mobility as far as the shoulder joint goes we're going to follow it up with some band stuff this is the crossover symmetry i really like this system overall from here all we're going to do is a little pull you have to go all the way back just nice and easy neutral and then we're going to go into a little rotation this is biasing those same little rotator cuff muscles that we rolled out in the beginning. So that's kind of where we're priming them. We're trying to get that blood flow. We're trying to get everything into those muscles so then they can function at their best. This is trying to wake them up, make sure that they're getting a little bit stronger and getting ready to use. These are those little stabilizer muscles. So it's really important to make sure that they are working correctly before we start doing all those fun things that we love to do. Next one that we're gonna do is just a little T going out to the side. All you're doing is trying to squeeze those shoulder blades together, really making sure that shoulders aren't kicking up. Shoulders are up here while you're doing it, it's not a good thing. There's a lot of pressure, a lot of things going on with the shoulders, so really wanna drop those shoulders, right? Squeeze the bottoms of those shoulder blades together to really make sure that you get those muscles active and get those shoulder blade stabilizers ready to work. This is a really good way to isolate those scapular stabilizers. Hope this is a nice quick and easy mobility and stability routine to keep you lifting at your best. If you like this video, please make sure to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Keep you living an active and healthy life.